Yo, 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 big up yourselves. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, big up. Before we go anywhere, the last video, 40 something percent of you who watched it are not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, blast that subscribe button, you would become a legend and you would be helping me more than you will ever know. So yeah, click it, go on. Spoke there somewhere, give it a click. Anyway, in today's video, we are doing some alterations to a new build property. Well, fairly new build property, but we will be putting some pendants in above the bedside table. So two pendants that drop down, they haven't got the pendants yet, but what we'll do is fit uh, just normal white plastic pendants until it's decorated and filled if it needs filling. That will be switched from kinetic switching. So wireless switching, it'd be a nightmare to get it back down to the switch. They don't want switches by the bedside table. So the easiest option is kinetic switching. I don't think I've done them on a video before, so that's something to look forward to. You've probably seen it before, but not from me. Anyway, yeah, we've got that. We've got extra socket for a TV on the wall, aerial for a TV on the wall, and then relocate a socket by the bed. So I'll show you that anyway. Let's get in there. Randa ting. <laughs> So here's the room that we're going to be doing. We've asked the customer to put the bedside tables exactly where they want them so we can get some measurements. So this is going to have a pendant there and a pendant there that's going to drop down over the bedside table. We've then got on this wall, we're going to be putting a double socket there and an aerial point. At the minute, they are down there and we're also going to be relocating a socket that's behind that. They want that behind the bed. So we're going to move that. So for the switching, we thought about switches above, they didn't want them. Um, so we thought about putting it there, but then if you're in bed, you've got to get out to turn the lights off. So kinetic switching was the way to go. So my plan for this socket, that's a stud. Well, it might not be a stud, it might just be overboarded, but basically we'll mark up the box, chop it out of fast fix size. Um, if it is a, a dabbed wall, we can put a metal back box onto the wall and then fish up as high as we can. We might have to chop a bit out of here because there'll be a bit of dab. Fish up into the ceiling and then we'll do the same if there's no power in the loft off that socket. So we'll fish straight up through the loft and down here. Lighting, if they're wired to the switch, um, we'll probably put a spur up there to feed these two lights. If not, if we've got a permanent live at the light, we'll come off that and into our kinetic receiver, which I'll show you in a bit. So that's that. Not quite sure what we're going to do with the aerial yet. Hopefully it comes from the loft and we can just pull it back up, drop it down here. Fingers crossed. First plan of attack, get the wall marked out. Like that. So we've got a double and a single there. I've done a straight line across the top to the level. So I'm going to get these cut out now, see what's behind. Hopefully we can just, well, hopefully we can just rod up straight into the loft. Oh no. As you can see, we've hit a stud and another stud there. So what I can do is chop the wing off the single, screw that in, the wing will fit in there and I've remarked this. So I'll get this cut out, get that piece fitted back in so they can put a bit of filler over it. And yeah, it's not too bad, but it does look hollow. Hopefully there's no timbers going that way. If there is, we're just gonna have to cut a hatch, drill through, get up. But there will definitely be one up there, but if I do a measurement off that wall, Roughly find out where it is. I can drill down from the loft, send a rod down. Hopefully, coming out these holes. Of course there is. Of course there is. There's another one. What I'm going to do here is just cut a bit of that joist away. So I'll cut the top out, cut the back, and then make a slot down and chop out enough wood so I can get the fast fix in there. That gives us the double and the single. Just like that. So as you can see, I've chopped down with the multi-tool and just chopped across. I haven't chopped any deeper. And that will just give us enough fray, space to get that in. Next plan of attack. Off that wall, I'm going to take a measurement into this bay here. Then I can drill through, fingers crossed, from above, drill down, and then drop down and come into here. That's the plan. Hopefully it goes to plan. I'm going to get the tape out, take a measurement, run up, give it a drill, get the rods. Right, I've been up, measured, drilled and all, and I can see the light coming through so we know 
we're in the bag. I've also took off that aerial point that's down in that corner and there's a joint off the aerial about here. The aerial's also up there as well, so perfect. What I'm gonna do is, it won't pull up the wall because I think it's dabbed over the cable. I'll give it a quick tug, nothing. So I'm gonna give it a cut there and drop it down. Hopefully, with it being here, there'll be enough on it if I cut it at the ceiling height, just to pull back and drop down into here. If you can hear any banging or anything like that, the lads are up there boarding the loft while I'm up there, which is nice. So yeah, I'll get these cables in. What I'm gonna do, get a 2.5 down, leave a bit of a coil up there, and then that way I can take this socket off, see what's going on, or hunt around the rest of the loft for a bit of power. But yeah, we'll get in there. Right, the cables are in and the boxes are in. It's not in the corner there. Won't matter though, the socket will cover that. So, aerial, where I've put this box in here, as you can see, the timber is there. So what I've done, took the wing off and just chopped the back off it. So that'll sit, slot that back in. He says. Slot that in there like that, and then put screw top and bottom, or just one. It's only just to hold it in. And then that gives us our two eyes again. I've put the end on and I've took it off from down there and cut the cable. So that's all gone now. All I've got up there now is a drum of 2.5, which we can take through to wherever we can. So I've just noticed rather than chopping up on this wall, in the other room there's a TV on the wall and it is a stud wall again. So hopefully we can do the same again, drill, fish a cable down and that'll be that. So the other end of this drum will go over to the other bedroom down the stud wall and onto the socket behind the TV. I'm gonna leave that for a bit now and get onto the lighting. So, oh dear, oh dear. So all we've got here is a switch live, neutral and earth. So there's no permanent live for us to feed those lights there. The permanent live is going to be at that switch. So what I'm gonna to have to do is, in this line here, where I've come up, fit a spur, in the loft or anywhere, and then that'll go to our wireless receiver, which will then go off to our down lights. We're also gonna have to relocate the pendant so that it's center of the bed, because where they've put it is a bit random. Well, I think they've done center of the room, but obviously once the bed and everything's in, you don't know what's what, what's going where. So we just need to move that over, which is gonna be easy because it's just that switch wire. So behind this TV is the socket that I was talking about. So hopefully we can drill down that stud and fish to there, and also while we're over here, there's a fan isolator, which will have a permanent live and neutral at that point. So we can wire a twin and earth straight up there into the loft, and we can wire a twin and earth straight off that socket up into the loft to feed our new socket. Right, rather than keep going up and down in the loft when they're working, I'm gonna try and prep it all now and just go up once or twice probably, just to get it done. I've re-measured center of the bed, which is where our pendant's gonna to move to, so it's gonna move over. Can you see that? Yeah. To there, so it's gonna move about a foot and then bedside tables. So what I'm gonna do, both of these have been put in place, so I'm gonna mark the center of these, measure from the wall, center of that, center of that, sand the other side, and just mirror it up onto the ceiling. Then I can move all these out so they don't get dust or anything on them, and then drill. So what we'll have is, off the fan isolator, we'll have a live and a neutral permanent up into the receiver, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, and then off to one of these pendants, and then from this pendant over to that pendant, whichever one I choose first. So we'll have two one fives, well one mils, two one mils at the one light, one one mil at the other. Right, we're up the loft now, they've finished and gone. There's our drum, which drops down. Here was that coil of aerial cable that I was talking about. So what I've done is cut it from there, pushed it down and popped it down that space there. I can't believe how fast they've boarded this. They boarded it, put a loft ladder in and it's, what time is it? It was quarter to 10 when they left. We got here at eight and it's done. And I'm here still thinking about cable runs. <laughs> and they've done it and gone. So holes for those pendants. If you can see down there, there's one. Uh, where is it? There, somewhere. See that bit of broken plasterboard there? So there's one. The other one will be in line over there somewhere. So I've brought the drum up with me. And then the isolator for that fan will be round here somewhere. And the socket that we're gonna come off. So that's there. Drummer 2.5 will go over and down there. The 1.5 will come up. What I'm probably gonna do is bring it over to about here to put our receiver and then bounce off for our pendants. So this is where we got to in the loft. I don't know how much you can see because my battery's dying on my light. So we've got a feed in 
here and a feed out to our pendants. The feed in, I've run down the other end of the loft to the isolator, I'll show you that in a minute when we go down. So basically up here now, we're gonna have either an adaptable box or just a patris with a lid on, and that is gonna house our receiver for our kinetic switching. So there's our cable into our fan isolator and then into our socket, so there's no damage there. The only thing I've noticed, these have the little white covers over the screw caps, but if you look, there's no eye. So that didn't have a screw in it, just had a cover cover in it. But I won't be putting covers back in, so what I'm gonna have to do is get an eye out of the van and put that back in there. So luckily it's the one that moves about, so you can just slot it in, squeeze the pins back down, good to go. Right, what I'm gonna do now, get the socket on, the new socket, get it connected up into here, get the middle pendant connected back up because I've moved it, and get the two pendants on that we've put in that are new. And then what we'll do is we'll leave the feed out for now, we'll go up the loft again and sort out where we're putting the receiver. Right, as you can see, pendants are up and done. This is the plan. I'm covered in insulation. This is the plan for in the loft. So, pencil box, feed in, feed out, or both through one, don't really matter. Then inside there, we're gonna be putting this. So this is the receiver for the wireless switching. So we've got live, live, neutral, neutral, in, out. I'll have to look what the S1 and S2 is, but we won't be using them for this anyway. And then I presume this is a little pair button on there. We will read the instructions and I'll go through it with you. And then the switch is just this. So that can be stuck anywhere, screwed up, whatever they want to do, put it in a drawer and leave it there. But this will drop on the floor. This will remotely operate the lights so we haven't got to get switch wires anywhere. It's literally just feed in and feed out. And this will operate it. There's no batteries. It just basically, I think it creates like a spark or something and then the receiver picks it up. Wizardry is what it is. Wizardry. I'm going to pop up there now, get the box fixed down, get the cables into it and then I'll show you. My battery's gone so the lighting is actually terrible now. So there's our receiver in there. I've waggled the earths together and connected live and neutral and live and neutral for the feed out. So that's ready to go now. I've screwed it down with the little tags provided and then this lid will just go over it when we're finished. But I'm going to leave that off for now so we can set it up in a bit so this is saying hold down the button for three seconds which i have until the red light comes on so that's on now then it's saying click the switch once nice let's go down and have a look here we are nice we've been given a wall your ear job Love them. We love them, don't we? Eh? But before I go in there and do that, I wanted to talk to you about today's video sponsor, which is Tradeify. So big up Tradeify. If you don't know what that is, it's our business management software that we use on phones, tablets, laptops, Macs, computers, everything. And it all links into one account that you set up and we use it for everything. Quoting, invoicing, scheduling. It is a massive app and it's awesome and we've got a discount code for you to try which is tax year 2024 and that's to get you ready for april ready for a new tax year ready to organize your business and that will give you 40 percent off for four months so why not try it and see if it works for you i'm going to leave a link in the description click that link it will give you a 14 day no obligatory free trial so you don't have to put any details like card details anything no payment methods you can literally just try it out for 14 days if you like it use that code for 40 percent off your next four months so yeah we're really happy with it so big up tradify thank you very much for sponsoring the video check it out so our wall your ear job is a loft light so i'm going to be putting just a pendant up there because that's all i've got on me so pendant in the loft down to a switch bar the loft touch which makes perfect sense it's been boarded it's going to be awesome up there they might as well have a loft light so you know what that means it's back out, the boy's out. So here is my plan. Permanent feed is over there. I've got to tidy up that rubbish. Permanent feed's over there. So what I'm probably going to do is run down that gap there, through, round to here. Then I will clip from the switch. So I'll feed the switch first, then off the switch, up one of these here, across the top, staple, 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 bosh, 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 into the pendant. And the light switch I'll just put there. So as you can see, that's just going to go off straight down there. Come round, 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 clippy, 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 up the joist, and then to the pendant. We have light, so joint onto there, live and neutral and earth, permanent live, round, 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 to the switch, and then stapled it up to the light. 
battery went on the camera. Oh, oh I've charged it back up. So, uh, I have installed the telly as well. I'm going to get on the wall. I'll put a little picture somewhere of that. But it hides all the damage, really. Um, they can take it off and patch it up if they want. A bit of fill around that uh, double box that I cut out that couldn't go there. But it worked out perfectly where the studs were. Centre of the room for the TV bracket. Literally screwed straight through into the timber, which was mint. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Like I said earlier, if you can press that subscribe button, you would be awesome. We want to get to 10K. I don't know when. We will, but press that button. You could help us. Leave a little like. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I don't know what this video will be like, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you've got this far, like I said, link in the description for Tradify. Big up Tradify for sponsoring the video. Check it out. Honestly, it's helped us out massively. It's got us a lot more organised, and obviously with that discount code going into the new tax year, it will help you also. Again, thank you for watching. Big up yourselves. See you later. Ta-ra. Yeah!